In July, Tom Rennie left the rigors of professional hockey and took over one of the busiest jobs in the sport. As president of Hockey Canada, the former NHL head coach will try to take the hugely successful organization to another level. And Tom is here now to tell us how the few first few months on the job have gone. Hi. It's, uh, how are you this morning? I'm good. Welcome. Welcome Thank to, you. well, sort of back to Calgary, I guess. Oh, it's great. It's great to be back. Actually, this is home for us. We, uh, we still have a home here and my family's all together again, so I'm responsible for getting us together as opposed to ripping us apart every year. Well, this is great. And I mean, this is a, a huge move for you. Mm -hmm. uh, how has it been the last few months? It's been great. I've really enjoyed it a lot. There's a huge learning curve coming right. out of the pro game back into this, if you will. And, and really, at the end of the day, it's an easy marriage for me because it is about development and moving the game forward from the start, little people, first identifying with the game all the way through to, um, you know, whatever the mandate might be in terms of high performance. So um, it lines up really well with my philosophy, quite honestly. Well, so what is your philosophy? Well, I, I think the game has to grow from the very beginning, from the little people that started right from the get-go. Right. And it has to, the rink has to be a destination. Uh, it has to be the place to go because it's safe, uh, mm -hmm. because it's fun, uh, because the adults that are involved really do, in fact, care about the children so that they can help them uh, enjoy the experience of playing hockey from cradle to grave. We, I mean, we hear this message a lot from players that we know and love, you know, the Cassie Campbells in the world, mm -hmm. saying this has to be about fun for the kid. So how do you... How do you make sure? Because, I mean, you know, we all know there's there's hockey parents, there's mm -hmm. there's trouble, mm -hmm. um, and kids have a lot of drive, a lot of pressure. How do you bring it back to that sort of grassroots level? Well, I, I think the big thing is to make sure that the environment is safe, quite honestly. Yeah. I think it's important that people, including um, parents, for example, but your officials, your coaches, are all educated in the, in the fact of what is important to children, you know, as they play the game. Uh, it is about the puck and everyone getting an opportunity to touch it mm -hmm. and play with it. Um, it's not about systems play when you're eight or nine years old. It's about making sure you have the opportunity to just enjoy the camaraderie, the social part of the game for sure, uh, getting out and getting good exercise and just having an awful lot of fun. So the environment really, quite honestly, is sort of produced by the adults, if you will. We just have to remember it's for the kids. I know another priority for Hockey Canada is enrollment. Mm -hmm. Where is that sitting right now? It's sort of leveled off. Yeah. I think enrollment really in sports across Canada, quite honestly, is sort of leveled, uh, if you will. And I'm, I'm not sure if that's a, a bad thing or not, but mm -hmm. the bottom line is we have to stay active. And so as uh, sort of the hockey body, if you will, and, and the mandate to get people out there playing the game, we have to pay attention to the length of the season. We have to pay attention to the cost it might take in order to sure. get involved, uh, the time it takes to involve not just a player but a family uh, in the sport, those types of things at the end of the day we have to set the hook make it a place to go as I mentioned earlier make it a destination the arena that is for all the right reasons and that number one is to have fun uh, I think a deterrent though to some parents would be player safety mm -hmm. uh, as sort of concussion awareness comes that, more to the forefront um, so where is Hockey Canada going with that I, I think we're right at the front end of doing the right yes. thing with concussions to be honest with you I, I believe that we educate um, all of our constituents, whether it's the coaches, whether it's the managers, whether it's the officials, whether it's parents, quite honestly. Um, there's lots of opportunity through Hockey Canada's website and through our uh, instructional uh, videos and programs in terms of uh, coaching um, a certification, if you will, to really educate the masses on concussion protocol, how to recognize it, how to deal with it, protocol, post-cussion, uh, and which is not easy with children because mm -hmm. all they want to do is play. Sure. Um, so the bottom line is I really and truly believe that through the good hard work of people that were here much before me, um, that we're really uh, sort of at the front end of doing all the right things for concussion protocol. Uh, and I can't let you go without talking about uh, female hockey and the priority that Hockey Canada is putting on that. So uh, what are the programs being put in place, I suppose? Or well, the, uh, you know what, they, they don't differ a lot, Tara, from the, from the boys, quite honestly. Yeah. The bottom line is we have to get girls playing. And to me, it's a huge untapped resource, quite mm -hmm. honestly. That and new Canadians, quite honestly. Sure. I think we can really tap into a, to a gender that's out there waiting to do uh, you know, some, some fun things as well through hockey. Uh, it's a sport that's growing. I think if you look at our numbers, that's probably the one area where we increase our numbers year after year. That's because girls want to play hockey. The bottom line, again, no different. Uh, we have to make the rink a destination for them as well. You've been the head coach of three teams involved in others. Do you have a favorite team? <laughs> I mean, I know, are you a... I mean, there's got to be, you know, you grew up watching such and okay. such. You, who are you watching? Puck in in honor tomorrow? of my dad, yeah. uh, who loved the Montreal Canadiens. Um, I'm a... I'm a Habs fan. I'm a, I'm a hockey fan, most of all. Um, but I really like the Flames. How's, how, how am I doing? <laughs> Congratulations. Yikes. <laughs> uh, well, we're really excited to have you here and you. Uh, to, to see what happens with Hockey Canada. Please come back anytime. Thank you very much.